Hey y'all, it is me, stop, drop, and roll on. And I, I got to look at disgust on my face for a reason. Um, I don't know if this applies to um dogs or not, but I'm gonna tell you it applies to these two cats in here and one in particular. And I'm just venting. So if you don't want to hear me venting and stuff, this is probably a good time to punch the button or do whatever people do when they don't want to hear folks venting. I think maybe my voice has changed. I'm not a singer, and I know uh, people have made stereotypical stuff about overweight. I'm just going to say it, overweight black women that we can all sing. I am not Mahalia Jackson. I'm not. I can't even get down low and do all that stuff and, and sing. It don't come from me. Okay, I'm not your girl. But I can, I'm, I'm, I, I will lift my voice up and uh, pray and praise and I'll, I will do it, okay? There is a CD that I like called Ron Winans Family and Friends. And I used to, uh, when, when Ron was alive, listen to me talking like I, like he was my, as these kids say, my boo. He wasn't, okay? I don't know him from Pete. I mean, I know who he is, but I don't know him. But I'm going to tell you, it was just something about that dude that he just had. I don't know what it was. It seemed like he just had a sweet spirit about him. Um, and I just used to just kind of gravitate toward him. Now, that's why I put it like that when keeping it on the up and up. Because it was on the up and up. I don't want this to sound weird or uh, nothing like that. <sighs> This morning, I, this this CD that I'm talking about, Ron Wynan's Family and Friends, that's like one of my favorite CDs. I got a lot of, y'all will hear me on and on through the years and eons to come talking about, oh, that's my favorite. It's just like my favorite change probably hourly. Okay, that's all I'm, I, ish, uh, I don't even know what else. Okay, but um, I was in here singing, what is she done put on here? Oh, yeah. Um, I was in here singing, and here as of late, it ain't as of late. Anytime I cry, these cats come, and I done told y'all this before, they come from wherever they are, like, what's going on here? You know, what's the, what is this about? But apparently, my singing now sounds like crying. So I guess my voice has changed where it's not, you know, melodic anymore or whatever the word you would use for that. It's not happening for me anymore because these cats think, and one in particular, Ink, who's right down here under my desk on her little, never mind, she got a little microfiber rug that she thinks is hers, but she ain't paid nothing. She just took it over like she do. Um, she is acting like my singing is crying or wailing. I mean, it's the same response that I'm getting when I'm crying. And so all I can think of is your ears is interpreting this as not singing, but as a, a, a signal of distress. And I'm not, I'm serious, y'all. So I'm in here singing and it's, it's, it's several songs on that CD, but it is one, um, it's all in your name. Don't don't put that on. If it's a vinyl record and you're getting ready to lower the needle on it, don't do that. Not when I'm around, unless you want to see something. Cause I'm gonna show you something, and it ain't gonna be me doing it. It's just gonna. That's just the way it is. Okay. So I found. I was just looking at something, and then that album cover, CD, DVD, whatever you call it, cover popped up, and I was like, uh, 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 uh no, no, no. And I said, yes, yes, yes. And I put the song on. And then it was just like, it's over. And so, I mean, I'm like, okay, the atmosphere going to change. And if it don't, this little area around me, my personal space, 6 to 12, you know, feet. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going down. And, but what, if I'm crying or if I'm laying prostrate on the floor, they crying, they come in here and it's like, what's wrong with you? You can't, you can't be like this. You got to rise up. And I just think they trying to make me get up because I'm the giver of food and cat treats and litter changing and fresh water. 
Okay? So, they looking out for their best interest. That's how I look at that. Today, I'm in here singing this all in your name because I'm just grateful about a whole lot of things on a whole lot of levels, as I am every day, and even more so. Uh, but that's just something. I'm singing and Ink comes in here and does this and pops me on my arm. And I'm just like, number one, you ain't nobody's school marm. Don't come in here and hit me with your paw. A raggedy paw at that. And I'm just like... I'm, you know, it's, it, it was the equivalent to when, you know, you in church and you praising God and then somebody decide they want to, you on the aisle and they want to walk in front of you and hit your hand like that. And what else are you going to do except for, wait a minute, what's going on here? You startled, you done came out of where you was and here go, you know, uh, Rakim or whoever it is, Buffy going by. And I'm just like, look, that, that couldn't wait Slim. I mean, really it couldn't have waited. Maybe it couldn't. I don't know. But I'm just saying that pop with that paw was the equivalent to that. And I'm just like, and went like this. And here you are down here, a little black cat doing that stuff. You know I rebuked her. I don't even know if you're supposed to rebuke animals. But she got a rebuke. And I called her agent of the enemy. I sure did. And I'm not being funny, y'all. I'm so serious. Because I was gone. I was in the zone. And it wasn't nobody but me and Jesus, okay? And uh, I'm just like, you... And it just dawned on me. I said, now this is the same. I have been on the floor praying and crying. And they have came in here and bit me. And that was the next thing she did. Because I went right on back to singing after she did the, the elbow. I guess that was preemptive. The, uh, the first layer of stop that. And so then the next thing is she coming here and do eh, like that. And I'm like, wait. I was mad at that point. And that's when I the rebuke came out. And I just told her she was being a, used as an agent of the enemy. And she just, I know she don't understand what I'm saying. But I understood what I was saying. And the enemy understood what I was saying too. Don't don't be coming in here trying to use my animals to try to break up my praise. I'll get up and do a dance on you. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. And that's when I do let me calm myself down. I'm just serious, y'all. That just got all over me. I'm asking a question. For the people that got cats, are your cats doing you like this? I mean, I have been down on the floor prostate. Prostrate. Excuse me. State is male stuff. Straight is laying out prone or recumbent. And they have bit me on my elbows. They have got on my back and walked while I'm praising God. And one of them bit my bun. And I am not lying. The only recourse I have is to shut this door in here. To, but, I mean, why do I have to shut the door? I didn't even know I was going to find the DVD. Why do you got to do all this pre-prep to be able to do that? And you, I, I, I'm on the higher order. You the cat. I'm the... Do your animals do this to you? Do are they can they, Are they disruptive like this? Or is it just what I got in here that's done... Is my singing that bad that it's now sounding like wailing as opposed to singing? And I'm sure, I mean, God is looking at my heart. He knows that I'm really giving it my best. And it's just what's in me is bubbling up. So I ain't got no problems with God. And I guess at that point, when I say it like that, maybe I shouldn't even be concerned about. But I don't want to be sitting up here getting reprimanded because my notes are off. And I'm not, y'all, I am serious. I would, no, I'm embarrassed. Do your animals do this? Just let me know.